Hello everyone, Christine McKee here from the Emerging Technology team. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at how you can manage your groups inside of Flipgrid. So here I am logged in to Flipgrid with my educator account and I'm on the groups tab in the educator dashboard. I can see all of my groups currently in tile view. Now from tile view, I can access actions to edit, duplicate, and do more with my group. I simply find my group tile and come up to the top right corner of the group tile where I see the three dots or the ellipses. When I click these, notice that I have the ability to edit my group, add a co-lead, formerly known as co-teacher, share the group, hide the group, duplicate the group, delete the group, Teams integration. Teams integration allows me to connect this group with my Microsoft class teams and it adds it as a tab inside of a channel of my class team. Or I can export the data for my group, including topic data and response data. Now, remember that I can also switch my group view into list view by clicking on the tile button here, giving that a moment to load. And now I can see all of my groups in a list view. And again, I have those same functionalities, edit, share. I can make the group active or hidden. I can click on the three dots to duplicate or export data. Of course, if I want to, I can open my group by simply clicking on the group um, banner. And here inside the group, I can do all of those things. Notice that I could add a co-lead. To add a co-lead or a co-teacher, you can either click the add a co-lead link here or come up to the three dots and click add co-leads. Either way to add a co-lead, your co-teacher or co-educator must have a free educator account on Flipgrid. What you can do is go ahead and type their email address associated with their free Flipgrid account and then click invite. This will send the individual an invitation that they have to accept to become a co-lead on your group. So right now it just shows that Trish the individual I invited, it just shows that the invite is pending. So I could close this and continue on. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is inside the group, I can choose to share my group. So let's say that I've added a few topics to my group and I'm ready to share this group with my students. I can click share. And notice that there are a variety of ways to share this group with your learning community. I could copy the group link to share in an email. I could share a QR code to the group. Some amazing ideas include getting the QR code and posting it inside the classroom or copying it and posting it inside students' agendas so that students always have access to the group, or I can share directly to Google Classroom, share to Microsoft Class Teams, and there are a few other ways to share a group, including copying the embed code to add to a website, sharing on Remind, or posting to Twitter. But again, teachers in ECSD, you will likely either share to Microsoft Class Teams, share to Google Classroom, share the QR code, or copy and share the link inside of an email. All right, if I come over to the three dots, the ellipses in the top right corner, notice that I can click to edit the group. This will take me back into the group details and settings. I can hide the group in case I'm building this group for future learning and I don't want students to accidentally access it in any way. I can click hide. Notice that I can duplicate the group. If I select to duplicate the group, the group and the topics will be duplicated. However, 
If students have responded to the topics or you've added comments to students' responses in the topic, that content will not be duplicated. If we go back, notice that we can also delete the group, connect that team's integration, or export data. Keep in mind that we are currently in the teacher view of the group. To access the student view, we can also click on the member view button here at the top. And this will open a new tab in our browser. And now we can see how our students will see the group and how our students will access the topics. Let's go back to the teacher view. In our next video, we're going to explore how we can create new topics to add to a group.